Algebra 2, Unit 5B Study Guide. Number 1. Expand the logarithmic expression. So remember the properties of logarithms. Our values are multiplied, so we can expand using addition. So you re repeat the log in the base and expand. Number 2, we look and multiplication has affected both of those terms. And this is a base 10, we don't have to write it. Then with our second term, we can rewrite the exponent, pull it to the front for multiplication. We know we're done because each term has a single variable or number. Number three, the operation that's affecting all the terms is division, the quotient. So we'll start by subtracting. We repeat the log in the base. The first term needs to be expanded still. It's multiplied, so we can expand it with addition. We repeat the log and the base. So log base 6 of 2 plus log base 6 of x minus log base 6 of y. And finally, number 4. And this is important. There's one like this on your test. So the first thing you want to do is rewrite it as a power. So remember, any root can be written as a fractional power, 1 fourth power. That's affecting all the terms in the value. So we'll start with that. So we pull it out front as multiplication. Now our value is multiplied, x times y. So we can rewrite that as a sum. We're going to repeat the 1 fourth. So our final answer is 1 fourth log x plus 1 fourth log y. In numbers uh, 5 through 7, you're going to work backwards. You're going to condense. So these logs are being pulled apart with subtraction, so we can condense them using division. So we take 3 divided by 5, and you rewrite it um, in one log expression. The same with this one. So we have log 10 minus log 5. So since those values are subtracted, we can condense them with division. So log 2. Number 7, we'll start with the multipliers and rewrite those as powers. And now we'll deal with the addition. So if it's being pulled apart with addition, we can condense it with multiplication. So one log expression, x cubed, y to the ninth. You'll need your calculator for these problems. You're going to use the change of base formula to evaluate the logarithm, find the number. So remember, change of base means that you take the log of the value and you divide it by log of the base. You're changing it to base 10. Put it on your calculator and let's go to three decimal places. 0.683. So here, log 2 of 11, we can rewrite that as the log base 10 of 11 over log base 10 of 2. And to three decimal places, 3.460, I believe. And log base 6 of 10, so change of base tells us we can take log of the value which is 10 divided by log of 6. So that's 1.285. Now let's look at a real life problem. These showed up in the math Excel problems. So there's the sound intensity formula. You're familiar with it. Remember the intensity of the sound on top, and then I sub 0 is the intensity of a, of a sound a barely audible sound, and we use 10 to the negative 12. So if we want to find the decibel level of a barking dog, we're going to plug in 10 to the negative 4 for i. So loudness equals 10 times the log of the intensity, which is what we're looking for. No, I'm sorry, we know that. <laughs> so 10 to the negative 4 divided by 10 to the negative 12. Now grab your calculator and just plug that in as you see it. Type in 10 log 10 to the negative 4 divided by 10 to the negative 12 and enter and you should get 80 decibels. So an ambulance, the loudness in decibels of an ambulance. 
we will use the same formula, 10 times the log of, and the intensity of the sound is 10 to the 0 over 10 to the negative 12. Again, grab your calculator and just plug this in from left to right as you see it. Press enter, and you should get about 120 decibels. Let's look at another real life problem. So number 11. Chemists uh, define acidity or alkalinity of a substance according to this formula, where H is the hydrogen ion concentration measured in moles per liter. And then it tells about if substances are acidic or basic based on their pH level. Find the pH of a solution with a hydronium ion concentration of 5.3 times 10 to the negative 7. Well, this formula is actually very simple to work. So it's just the negative log of, and then whatever that concentration is. So 5.3 times 10 to the negative 7. So grab your calculator and just go left to right and plug this in as you see it. Then press enter. And so you should get approximately that the pH of this is 6.3. And that is, since it's below 7, acidic. The next set of problems, you're going to solve exponential and log equations. Use method one, which is the property of it should be equality, not equation, or method two, which is where you switch forms. So first look for the property of equality, then switching form. And that means remember exponential to log or log to exponential. So this should say exponential to log. Okay, so we've got exponential. Let's see if we can use the property of equality. I notice that the bases are the same. So therefore, we can ignore the base and set the exponents equal to each other. Then just quickly do the math. So I'm gonna subtract my x's here, subtract my three there. So I get negative 10 equals x, and I've solved it. Now, number 14, I notice my bases are the same again. So that means I can ignore those and set my exponents equal to each other. So then I'll just subtract 3x from both sides. 2x equals 4, divide by 2, x equals 2. Now here I have a base of 3 and a base of 9. So I think, can I rewrite one or both of these using the same base, different powers? Well, I know that I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. So I'll leave this one as a base of 3. And then in a parentheses, to replace the 9, I'm going to write 3 squared. And then I put the power up and to the right. Now I'm going to raise this power to a power. So that means I need to multiply both of those terms. All right, now I'm ready to ignore the bases and set the exponents equal to each other. All right, I'm going to subtract my x here, add my 6, and I feel like I might have made a mistake, so let me check in on this one. Nope, x equals 7. All right, and then on number 16, solving an exponential, 81 and 1 third. So I notice the 3 in 1 third, and 81 is a power of 3. I can raise 3 to the 4th power and get 81. So I'm going to rewrite that. I can rewrite 1 third as 3 to the negative 1 power because that flips it. Now I'm going to raise a power to a power by multiplying. And then I'm going to ignore my bases. So 4x minus 12. equals negative x. All right, so I'm going to subtract my 4x. 12 equals negative, negative 12 equals negative 5x. Divide both sides by negative 5. x equals 12 fifths. All right, we'll keep solving, but I notice now that I can't rewrite 2 and 5 as the same base. So now I'm going to use method 2 where I switch forms. So I'm going to rewrite this as a log. So I drop my base here. 
I put my value next and then I end with the exponent. Then grab your calculator, put in the log of 5 over the log of 2 using the change of base, and let's round to three decimal places. All right, same thing with 8 and 35. I can't rewrite those using the same power. Whoops. So I'm going to switch forms, rewrite it as a log. So your 8 is the base, it drops down, what it equals goes next, and then the exponent. So do change a base, the log of 35 divided by the log of 8, 1.710. Now 19, I notice I have 16 and 1 fourth. It's like a problem, the problem we worked um, just a few earlier. So I think of four, I can rewrite 16 as four squared, repeat. I can rewrite one fourth as four to the negative one. So, whoops, then I can multiply those exponents. So six X minus 12, no, six X minus four equals minus 5 plus x. Now I can ignore here. So 6x minus 4, set the exponents equal to each other. Okay, so I'm going to subtract an x this away and add a 4 that away. So 6x equals negative 1 and that should be 5x because I'm taking 1 away. And then if I divide by 5, x equals negative 1 fifth. All right, last one for this video. So we've got 2 to the x plus 1 equals 8. I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the third power. Then I can ignore my bases and set my exponents equal to each other. So I've got x equals, subtract my 1, 2. This concludes part 1 of the study guide key. Go on to the next video to see answers for the rest of the study guide problems.